February marks National Children's Dental Health Month. And joining us now with some tips for parents, Dr. Kami Haas. He's a co-founder and CEO of The Super Dentist. Doctor, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Shelly. How are you? I got four of these I got to deal with every single night. We have the story about the sugar buggies and what happens when you don't get them out of your teeth. It's not working, doctor. It's not working. <laughs> well, I'm here to give you some tips, hopefully. So go for it. Okay, so the little kids, I'm sure our friends watching, they have them from the little ones all the way to the older ones. What do we tell our kids about brushing their teeth? Okay, and I know, you know, uh, brush your teeth, eat your vegetables, and do your homework, right? Those are the three things we nag at our uh, kids all day long, every night. I'm a parent of a nine-year-old myself. So when it comes to brushing, though, as you probably know, uh, we form our associations with oral care uh, early on when we're kids. So we want to make sure those associations are positive, right? So I have a nine-year-old. Uh, I, I brush with them at night. So there's a ton of things we can do. First of all, let's start with picking out the right toothbrush. Unlike other oral care products that parents must choose them, like toothpaste and mouthwash because they have chemicals and, and medical ingredients and should not allow your children to pick those products. But when it comes to the toothbrush, as long as the brush is safe and the bristles are either soft or ultra soft, they're not like charcoal or anything that's gonna damage the enamel, you can let your child pick out their toothbrush. You know, maybe they're superheroes uh, of their favorite or they have music. Like studies show that kids uh, brush 73% longer to music. You know, we know two minutes that you're supposed to brush may seem not long unless you're brushing and <laughs> it seems like forever those two minutes so you can use music you can uh, you know dance together you can brush together with your child you can make a schedule and reward it you know when they brush uh, together but i think picking out the right brush uh, playing music those are the two things that i found for what most of our parents been really really helpful for their kids i like the music idea i think i'm going to try that and see if we can get through a whole song while brushing the teeth <laughs> yeah uh, there are actually songs that are specifically two minutes, so you can choose those to make sure that they choose the right those uh, length. The reason uh, kids are supposed to, and, and adults alike, we're supposed to brush our teeth for two minutes is because, first of all, it takes about two minutes to get around and brush all surfaces of the teeth, but also you want enough time for the toothpaste to do its magic. Uh, by the way, for the length of uh, the, the two minutes, for five-year-olds, we know that they only brush 25% of the surface of their teeth. Even 11-year-olds only brush 50% of their teeth. So it's really important that we you know, give, allow them the adequate amount of time and the music goes a long way for to make sure they, they really spend the time and brush all over every surface of every single tooth. You're making me think about my teeth and how much a surface I get on my teeth now, okay? Mommy's <laughs> gonna do a better job. Thumb sucking. Yep. Thumb sucking for um, parents who have kids that do that. Does that really impact, what do they say, you th suck your thumb and then your teeth will change? Dramatically. Oh. In fact, the longer you wait to fix it and to get rid of that habit, the longer the likelihood that they're going to have jaw and uh, mouth growth and development issues. In fact, kids who stop sucking their thumb by age one, there's only five, five or six percent of them end up with a crossbite when where the upper jaw is narrow. But kids, when they stop it by age four or later, about 20 percent of those kids end up with a crossbite. So what happens is when you suck your thumb, your muscles here, they, 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 they're called buccinated muscles. They pull on your, up, push on your upper jaw. So upper jaw, which is normally like that, it becomes narrow and, and, and it goes up and the, the middle part of it encroaches in the nasal cavity. So you can literally interfere with uh, you know, airway and oxygen intake and sleep at night, you know, cause sleep apnea. And it can really uh, impact the development of the child in a dramatic way. And of course, the bite can in turn into what we call a crossbite. The bite, the upper jaw becomes narrow. And so it can dramatically impact the oral development and the physical and the intellectual development of a child. So we recommend the, the or these oral habits, you know, kids stop them as early as possible. Now with different kids, they do it for different reasons and with different intensities. So you need to discuss it with, uh, with your pediatric dentist. But when the children are really young, the treatments are much, much easier. Like you can put a sock around the, you know, the hand or put a, is you know a band-aid around the arm so they can't really bend their arm when they're sleeping depending on what part of the day they're doing this when they get older the pediatric dentist can put a device in the mouth that physically blocks the, the thumb or reminds the child at the thumb and then when the kids get older sometimes we have to do orthodontic treatment with expanders and i've even had to treat adults with thumb cycling habits and in those cases we usually require a combination of orthodontics and oral surgery your book if your mouth could talk if your mouth could talk if you have more questions i'm sure you address all of these concerns in this book yeah that and many many more 
Okay, uh, where can people get your book, doctor, before we let you go? So you can get it from your favorite bookstore, you know, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or you can go to our website, themouthbook.com, and uh, pre-purchase your book, and you get a ton of bonuses to go with the book. Dr. Haas, thank you for all those reminders. Tonight, I'll um, put on a two-minute song. <laughs> <laughs> thank Great, you, Dr. <laughs>